Mr. Andy, your personal law can show up as a consistent unconscious energy in response for you to complete experiential cycles with distinct beginnings, middles, and ends that bring a process of shared growth. This brings you a level of good fortune and good luck as an influencer, bringing cycles of experience to closure through being a middleman. It is your consistent unconscious law and protection to have the maturity to bring growth through mediation. Sometimes the difficulty arises because of an unconscious lack of maturity, where the power to harmonize distorts mediation and limits growth. When your body has the energy and drive to begin something, thanks to the depths of your response, you can be assured you have the energy to complete it. Your unconscious truth is that this drive can show up as the pressure to begin something new, not from scratch, but based on the foundation of the old. Sometimes there will be a difficulty in starting something new because of the criticism that accompanied the old. In response, you can go through a satisfying developmental process to see that experience through to completion and to share your transformational practicality with those who ask. This can show up as the psychological pressure to eliminate conflict in order to develop or energy which provokes conflict and threatens development. So you can see that this is more complex because I weaved in keynotes of the line values. So it's a little bit more deep, a little bit more detailed, a lot more detailed actually because we're going into this and that exalted detriment of those planets, those activations that are there because they are a potential. If it was just a detriment, I would only read the detriment keynote. Yeah, because we're not talking about them in relationship with anybody, but there's a possibility that they might have the juxtaposition. No, we're talking about this person and his consistency. Because we had no exaltation, detriment or juxtaposition, I did all of them in that paragraph. Here's a different way of keynoting. We're doing a segue, a segment of format plus split influence here now. So Andy, remember how we covered your powerful availability to start and end things in response? Uh -huh. Okay, this cyclic strength of yours makes your whole energetic frequency powerfully experiential in your process of being who you are for yourself. Your strengths of alpha leadership and creative inspiration are flavored by your energetic availability in response to complete a cycle of experience for the abstract hands-on and step-by-step -step learning. When responding, remember you can persevere in emphatically listening to other people's secrets and hold onto your own to share in a process of growth. You can enter into profound experiences of what can go amiss on the physical plane, leading to influencing others on what to avoid through distinct evolutionary cycles with clear beginnings, middles, and ends. Everything in you wants to bond with the right others, split definition, to engage in a direction that leads you to embark on learning discoveries. Learning discoveries which reveal hidden depths of commitment to you. Trust your sacral response for the most satisfying partners on adventures. I was being a little playful with that. Because the sacral response will be there for the right others to bridge the split in the way that he prefers, learning through that trial and error process. Okay, let's see. Any chats here? Reveal hidden depths because of Neptune. I like this phrasing over what's hidden from you. Yeah, because... Um, if you think about what gate 29 is, oops, before we go into Robin Williams, what gate 29 is, is, is it the deep within the deep? <laughs> the yes gate and the no gate, the abysmal, the abysmal. Oof. Yeah. You know, there's this quality of deepness, experiential depths. When we look at what well, this is water over water, yeah? the abstract stuff is profound, yeah, penetrating into things. I, 
I, I see it as a, um, as experiential is from the experience itself. And there's always challenges and mishaps and trials and it's just ugh, deep, you know? Whereas logic is, no, we're going future and it's patterns and it's more surface, you know? This is a depth gate, a well, but it's solutions that you bring out to others. So I don't know, that's just, I guess, my process of languaging that one, revealing the hidden depths, revealing hidden depths, because that's hidden from him. So what will reveal his perseverance to or commitment to a discovery journey, his response. Okay. Lisa's been finding this difficult because the stories didn't make sense. I'm hoping it all assimilates at some point. Yeah, it's like learning a new language, Lisa. It's like... I don't know, you guys remember listening to Raw and you couldn't understand half of what that man was saying and yet you couldn't help but keep listening to him, you know, because you really want to understand what he's saying and you just keep repeating and repeating and at some point it clicks. So when you have enough depth of the language of why he's saying what he's saying, you see that everything in the freaking world maps onto that body graph. Like it's there, you know? And so you can mm, deconstruct it. Okay. So we're gonna do Robin Williams. I, at first I was like, oh, this one's hard. And I took it off and then I was like, no, I'm gonna do it. So let's see if we can talk about this in general. Robin, I wonder if all the keynotes would be the same if HD arrived today. I imagine that it would be different after 2027 and that always freaks me out. Like who's gonna give us what raw? <laughs> I don't know, does he have some like secret? guidance for us of what the body graph is going to change into <laughs> keynotes of mutation blah 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 yeah. okay robin robin hello robin <sighs> remember robin do you remember how you have mutative pulses of energy that are designed to fluctuate and initiate in response this mutative energy formats the way your entire being responds to life and especially influences everything in your design to respond in a pulse of knowing that is there or not. Mutation empowers your hearing of truth in the now, your provoking, your rationalizations, and the spirit of your higher self. Mutation flavors your enthusiasm to share what you identify with as a good story to illustrate your values and the radiance of your naturally brilliant consciousness. Remember, acceptance of certain limitation grounds you in who you are for yourself. When you are called out and pressured to respond to the communal standards you are a part of, to bring the custodianship you are projected upon to support others, wait for clarity. I should say support your community. Your Empowerment through enforcing a message of tribal responsibility to ensure the preservation of your people is part of your life's work. Remember to wait for clarity about when to support your tribe with your stimulating stories that can empower individual evolution. So one way of describing it. Now, to go deeper. If I were coaching this person, you know, and I wanted to take it one, one thing at a time, I, I just pulled the blue line in and made separate sentence instead of saying one word, one word, one word for each of those gates. So let's explore them. And of course, if you were working with them in live interaction, you would go into the depths of the this and the that, whatever this and that is there. If there is a this and that, if both of them are there, exalted or detriment. So mutation empowers maturing your unconscious rationalizations to learn through the pulses of transformation that requires retrogressive periods before renewal can take place. Bold blue line, maturing energy. Yeah. Mutation, mutation also empowers the spirit of your higher self with your unconscious personal law and learning about the pulse of devotion and dedication to the now. Line. Mutation adds drive and power 
to your conscious ability to provoke at times with maturing to the avoidance of confronting obstacles if failure puts others at risk. Mutation empowers what's hidden from you, which is your unconscious acuteness of hearing truth in the now and your mind's learning about the clarity to establish proper values and ideals that must be accompanied by resolute determination to maintain them. We just add keynotes. And I know it's more gets across in aura than even voice. And more gets across when you really know what you're talking about, you know, when you have a clarity of what you're saying. But in the beginning, you may not yet. Just like learning a new language and you're starting to speak it, you might say the word, but you're saying a word with the wrong inflection. And so now it means this word rather than that word. Okay, so there's going to be a learning process where you're maybe speaking stuff that you don't have a clear grasp on yet. So I want to give you some relief. How the hell are you supposed to have a clear grasp on 1,080 different ways each freaking gate is designed to operate? You won't. So take a load off. You do your best to ping the keynotes, sing the song of that person's design. And it's going to penetrate into them because they're hearing it in a way that is totally foreign to you. Totally foreign to you. You're designed to see things differently than this person. Putting it together in a way that the person can actually relate to, not just impress the teacher. Exactly. Don't worry about trying to do it the right way. Because remember the way that Ross said, Ross said, these, there's power in the keynotes. Stringing together the poetry of the keynotes is the purpose here. Nobody was wrong when they practiced earlier. Even when I might've said, you could add this or that, I'm just sharing what I see too and adding on to. None of you were wrong unless you absolutely said this gate as part of this circuit when it's obviously not that circuit. That's the only time I saw a mistake this morning. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We have Diana, Diana, and Catherine Zeta Jones. So, Diana, we have talked about how your conscious core essence radiates peacefulness in your life, giving you the ability to share your drive for stillness. I explained how you can discern which others to collaborate with when you're emotionally clear and acceptance of the limitations or the ebb and flows of life. Now I'd like to address an additional special trait that brings your unconscious values in relationship, which strongly flavors your imagination and the whole of who you are for others. Your body is here to share experiences and bring relationships to a cycle of closure in a nurturing way. The unconscious values you hold of sharing a process of growth with the collective can sometimes vacillate to refusing to share growth with others. Your life is patterned into cycles of experience that have clear beginnings, middles, and ends. It can be challenging to extract yourself from communities, experiences, and experiments when you don't wait for direct mutual recognition and having the patience to wait further for clarity when accepting invitations. I could say add on to guide. Trust the nature of your wisdom in maturity, wisdom in maturity, to have the emotional intelligence to know when to support others with shared growth and when to let go. Speaking to letting go, letting go, letting go. Okay. I wish I could give that lady that one particularly. That one in Marilyn Monroe. I have this like sensitive spot towards like, oh my God, I wish they knew human design. The ones that die early, I guess. Catherine Zeta Jones. Hi, Catherine. We've talked about how your unconscious core essence shines a light. Oops, there. Unconscious core essence shines a light of stability in your life that gives you the ability to sit in stillness. I explained how you are here to collaborate 
with others who may share a focus for you to respond to when you're emotionally clear. Now, I'd like to address a special quality of your nature, your body's expression in the world flavors the entire essence of who you are for yourself. The energy of your genetic inheritance strongly influences your logical judgment and the solutions you give to others when they need your expertise. Expertise, personally. At times, your body's expression of your inner light may lead you to be either very still or move into action as you explore what it is to have new experiences of bonding with others while marching to the beat of your own drum. Your expression of you in your life's work has an unconscious logical drive to provide a detailed way forward. Detailed first line, way forward, logic. You broadcast an internal light, broadcast an internal light because it's defined broadcast internal light on conscious sun that gives you a quality of introspection and self-imposed inaction as you wait for clarity on what to be introspective about, what to study, and when to think before you speak. I brought in the line value there, think before you speak is the line name 